This video is on isomers. Before we can understand what an isomer is, we first need to know what a molecular formula and a structural formula are. So a molecular formula is when you write the symbols for the elements with numbers as subscripts. So that would be like when you write CH4. So that means there's one carbon and four hydrogens. So it just tells you the quantity of each element. A structural formula then um, is the drawing. So that shows the arrangement of atoms. All right, so this would be like for CH4, you would have your carbon with four hydrogens attached like so, so that you could tell that this was like a tetrahedral uh, molecule. So an isomer then is when you have the same molecular formula but more than one structural formula. Okay, so let me show you what I mean, what I mean with a couple examples. All right, so let's say we have uh, what we call butane. So butane is C4H10. So our molecular formula is C4H10, four carbons, 10 hydrogens. Now butane has two isomers, which means that there's two different structures, two different ways this can be built or drawn. So one of these, and this is what I always suggest, is the first one when you're trying to figure out isomers is you draw your carbons, because it's usually some sort of hydrocarbon, hydrogen and carbon, in a straight chain. So just bonded one to the other, one, two, three, four. Now, I'm not going to draw all my hydrogens on here, but I'm going to check that I would have 10. So you should know, like if we look at this one, right, carbon bonds four times. So I'm going to look at each carbon and say, well, if it already has one bond to another carbon, for example, this end one, it would have, so there's one, it would have one, two, three more. These middle ones would have two hydrogens on them, right, and this other end one would also have three. So if I count all those spots, it adds up to 10. Now, I'm not normally going to draw them, but I am going to check that they're there and that I have the right amount of hydrogens so that my molecular formula is correct. All right, so this is one structural formula, one way of drawing butane. Now, the only other way is if you branch it differently. So what I will have see a lot of students do is I will see them do this, carbon, carbon, and I'll see them start to do this. And you'll see when we're, when we're in class and we build some of these, you're going to see that this is the same thing. So that's the same. Just like if I do this. Also, same. So those are not different isomers or different structures. All right. And the way I check this is I look through it and I say, if I can follow it in the same path with the same number of carbons, same branches, it's the same. So like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, just like this one, one, two, three, four, all in a line, that means they're the same. So what is another isomer or another structure of this one? Well, what, here's, here's the key. Here's what you want to do. Okay, you want to shorten the longest chain of carbons. by one and add branches. So I'm going to shorten this by one. So I'm going to draw three carbons long. Now I have one more carbon. Okay. If I put it on either end one here, that's the same as the first one I drew. If I put it um, here, that's the same as the first one I drew. What if I do it up top like this? Is that the same? Yep. So where can I put it to make it different? And I think you figured it out. Oops. As I erase it, would be off of a, the middle carbon. Now this would be the same as this. 
also be the same if I did it like this. Also the same. So these in blue are your two isomers. All right, so let's do another one. Let's do, oops, not where I wanted to go. Let's do uh, pentane. Let's just add another carbon. Okay, so pentane is C5H12. And this one has three isomers. Now there is no magic trick or formula to figure out how many isomers. Um, you just have to draw it and figure it out or you do that, you know, really cool thing where you Google it. All right, so pentane three isomers. All right, so the first one I'm going to do is going to be a chain of five carbons. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to check each end carbon should have three hydrogen spots, right? So that's three plus two. So three on each end, two on the three middle ones. So three times two is six plus three times two is six. That adds up to 12. So this is correct. All right. That was just scratch work. Okay, so that's good. That's one of my isomers. Now remember, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten my chain. So now I'm going to draw a chain of four. All right, so I have one other carbon. Where can I put it? If I put it on an end, it's the same as the first one. So where can I put it to be different? Well, it's got to be a middle carbon. Top, bottom, first or second one, all the same, right? Like if I drew this, that would be the same because it's still off of, if I number my carbons, one, two, three, four, it's a second from the end, and I can just start numbering on the other side, second from the end. Top bottom doesn't matter, because if you remember, single bonds, you can rotate around them. Okay, so I've got two isomers here. Now, is there anywhere else I can put that single carbon on a chain of four to be different? Nope. So let's shorten it one more. One, two, three. Now I have two carbons to place on here. Now, if I put one on the end, all right, we're going back to the, first, the, the one right above it, so that's not going to work. Okay, so what can I do? Well, the only thing I can do is I can put one off of each side of the carbon here. All right, so these are the three isomers of pentane. So we'll do more work in class, and we'll build some of these to help you visualize this and more practice drawing them.